Blue Tykes uh, jam and play MP3 player for free. The toys Martin Famber bought for his girls this Christmas are free from lead. But that's something he was worrying about just a few minutes ago. I wanted to get them tested because, uh, you know, you know, everything's got lead just about from China, you know. Famber brought a couple of his toys to a local Dalton toy store where he could get them scanned for the dangerous element. But at least you can take a, take a look at them and, and check them at least. Whereas, uh, you know, just not knowing at all, you know, that's, I mean, that's, 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 that relieves your mind a little bit. As, as a parent, you know, you're, you're always concerned about, you know, what, what's the best thing for your child. And, and we transfer that, you know, the kids that come into the toy store, we, we want that same thing for those children. Kathy Jenkins owns Toys in the Attic. After hearing recent reports of lead found in toys from China, she decided to offer free lead testing to anyone who wanted to bring their toys by. A service Famber finds priceless. It's mind shattering because, I mean, you know, lead in the long run, you know, it can hurt your kids, you know, their, their thought, memory, their, you know, maybe even their, uh, Growth. Jeremy Weir got his start testing toys for lead after the rash of tainted toys hit close to home, with each of his children testing positive for lead. And it was a low level, but um, as a concerned parent, not knowing where the lead came from, and then you start to hear numerous recalls. It scared me a lot, and it scared, you know, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure it scared everybody a lot. But now Famber has the peace of mind mm -hmm. he considers the best See. present this holiday season. In Dalton, Bethany Mowry, WDEF News 12.